Okay, hear me out. If you want to make your art the coolest as quickly as possible, then there is one fundamental skill you should focus on. This simple knowledge was responsible for completely upending how I approach painting and changing my art forever. First, let me tell you a little story. The year was 2022 and I had been drawing every single day for five years. I had been working as an artist since 2021. Still, whenever I look at my art, I felt just like, this isn't remarkable. If I saw this art on my feed, yeah, I would double tap it and move on and I wouldn't think about it ever again. So while drawing every single day, spending hours and hours drawing, obviously <laughs> helped me improve a lot, there was just something missing really missing in my art. I struggled and struggled and I was never satisfied with it. Despite my efforts, I felt like my art wasn't improving very quickly. Everything was moving so slowly and sure, I was improving, but still, you know, boring art. No matter how much I learned about anatomy and perspective and I don't know, all the fundamentals that we want to learn, Nothing really translated into interesting art. Nothing made my art so good that people would stop and look at it, and maybe even admire it. There was no reason for that. That's when I decided, okay, enough is enough. So I thoroughly analyzed my favorite artists' artworks, and I compiled a list of what they had that I was missing. I needed to know what was so special about their artworks, why did they pull me so much? Why were they so incredible? So I made a list and after compiling a list of every single one of them, I noticed a few similarities. All of them had beautiful colors, interesting lights, awesome compositions, super cool perspective, gorgeous and detailed environments, incredible storytelling. You see the problem with this list? Yes, it features basically everything you need to know to do art, but I didn't really notice how extensive this list was, so I started trying to tackle them. All at the same time, I wanted to improve the colors, the light, the composition, the perspective. And it's obviously too much, they are too complex, and you can spend your entire life studying just one of these fundamentals. I kept trying to learn them while still struggling to understand why my art wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And then, one day, as I was making yet another boring portrait out of my list of boring portraits, <laughs> I thought, wait, I know there are some incredible artists out there who make really cool portraits. What do they have that I don't? So see, I was this time, instead of just looking at general incredible artworks I loved, I was just looking at portraits. This was much more specific and much more easy for me to really see the characteristics and apply them to my own art. So after analyzing a bunch of those that I have saved in my Instagram, I realized the key. Now I find it pretty obvious, but I didn't really notice until then. And it was that you need to make things dynamic. There are dozens of ways you can make your art dynamic. You can use different shapes, like big, medium, small shapes. You can use interesting angles. You can use beautiful lines. You can use awesome dynamic colors. All of those are methods to make the art more dynamic. So I said, okay, I know what I need to do. I need to make my paintings dynamic. But there are hundreds of ways to do it and hundreds of things to learn. What should I do? Help! I knew I could study each fundamental and eventually I would make awesome art, but I wanted to make really cool art right then and there. So out of all of these characteristics that I saw in other artists painting, what was the one that was the easiest for me to apply right now? What I found was that the easiest way to make your art instantly 100% color is to change the light and shadow system. You can completely change the mood of a scene just with light and shadow. You can create the coolest shape and the prettiest effects 
just with light and shadow. And you can choose amazing colors based on the light and shadow. So if you set up a nice lighting system, even the most boring of portraits can become really cool. Even if the pose is boring, even if they're just staring at the camera. But if the lighting is really cool, people will stop and they'll look and they will feel something, which is the most important thing you can do with your art. You want to make people feel something. That's when it clicked. I can use light to tell stories, to make people feel something when they look at it, and to show mood and emotions, and to touch my audience. Since then, I've been learning more and more about light and color, and boy, did that change my art. I'm gonna show you like a before and after so you guys can see how much difference just playing a little bit with lights can make. Making this change really changed how my art is perceived, but more than that, not only how others feel about my art, I myself feel more proud of it now and I have really a lot of fun playing with the light. And this is what I suggest for you. Play with the light. This is so much easier than learning how to drop bodies in perspective or learning how to make, make really cool compositions. At least for me, the easiest one was light. Of course, there's still a lot, lot, lot I need to learn for my art to improve. But it's just this one small tip for you. Focus on light and you can see the quickest and easiest improvement very fast compared to others. Once you start making these light experiments with your own art, you will notice two things. The first is that your art will jump in quality. Really, is astonishing. Like, you look at it and like, wow, I made this. And yeah, you did. <laughs> the second thing is that you see how much fun it is. Really, this is the best part of the painting process for me. I'm always like enjoying it so much. You can do so much without even changing even a muscle on the character just by changing the light. You can tell a completely different story. So you gotta try this for yourself. You gotta apply this to your art. If you want my help, I have a Patreon which has awesome full tutorials and step-by-steps and recordings and lots and lots of stuff. And the link in the description. But now I have a task for you. Make a simple portrait and try three different lighting setups for it. It's gonna be hard at first, obviously, because it's a new skill. But with time and practice, you become so good at it and you're gonna love it as well. And you're gonna be really proud of your art. And this will also be reflected in how people outside see your art as well. So give it a try, tell me later how that experiment went, and I see you around. Bye bye!